Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. Today I want to talk about science victories and them throughout the series and I really, really don't like science victories. You know, first of all, I'm a player that I don't play with the uh, turn timer on. I kind of don't like it because uh, there's always, you know, I feel like the turn timer is there to kind of help the underdog and I just don't like it you know I don't like the turn timer um, I like seeing my games play out till someone you know struggles to the end of victory and you know always giving you chances to win with one of the victory ways I don't know I might have to try some turn timer games um, unless it's the scenarios then I like the turn timers for the scenarios but one of the things that I've grown to really, really severely dislike is science victories, you know? I really don't like science victories because I feel like they really aren't... They're, they're the easiest way to win in this game. And they also... They reward you for not doing anything, if that makes any sense. So, what I mean by this is, let's say I'm playing for a science victory, okay? First of all, I'm going to be building a lot of campuses and maybe a lot of commercial hubs to give me money because to pay for the buildings. The side effect of that is I'm going to have one of the most advanced militaries in the game. If you ever see an AI try to go for a science victory, they always have the most advanced military of the AI players. So, first of all, compared to a cultural victory, you can't exactly go to war with them. So your option is to use spies, right? But spies are overpowered. So then what happens is you have these spies and you're also counter spying. And you know, I can have, I can have every nation put a spy on my spaceport. But if I have like one spy counter spying and I have policies that help my spies, my spaceport is probably going to be safe, you know? So spying is definitely not balanced for the science victory. The other thing that happens is you're not going to be building a lot of cities. Or you are. Either way, you're going to end up with campuses and commercial hubs, right? So just picture this. You have a bunch of trade routes. You're going to be able to trade with yourself for, mo for food or other people for money. Either way, so you're going to be expanding very fast sometimes. And you're also going to have cities with high populations. So then you're going to be building a bunch of industrial zones. And you're going to get a lot of these districts. Like going for science victory, the only districts you really don't ever have is the um, religious ones and theater ones, you know. So you're going to have a lot of production too, which means more military. You know, so to me, the science victory is for those who I would say don't want to risk anything. They want to play the game as safe as possible. Now, I will say that's for me. On the flip side, Science Victory is extremely good for the new players, the ones that actually are new to the game and they need a way to win. For me personally, I just turn off score and Science Victories. If I have score on, I will turn on Science, but I don't like, as a quote, experienced player, I don't like science victory on because I feel like there's no risk for the reward of winning. You go to war, everyone knows you're trying to win, so you have to battle the world. You go for culture, your science is stunted. You go for religion, you know, something is stunted if you pick religion, whether it's your culture or science. And then you go for diplomacy, you are spending your, your time on you know other city states you have to defend them right and you also have to play nice with everybody there's a lot of risks in everything in the other four victory types there's risks in everything and i just think that you know time limit is there i don't know how balanced it is because i don't play with it but science like what you just build a bunch of spaceports and launch a spaceship one at a time uh you know i just i just think that Science is, it's not balanced right. I, I wish there was more of a risk to science victory. I kind of, you know, you still got to build the Space Force District, so I guess, you know, that. But I, I kind of feel like 
For me, how I would balance this is I think the spaceport should have to replace a district. I think you should say, okay, I have this spaceport and it can't be like a neighborhood or an aqueduct. It has to be one of the main ones that use a district slot. So an encampment campus commercial hub, not a harbor, but an encampment campus commercial hub, theater square, you know, and you have to replace it. So that city no longer gets that district. I think that would balance it out a little bit because then there's a little bit of risk there where it's like, okay, I just lost it. And you not, and I think you also should not be allowed to revert it back. Because I mean, by the time you're launching spaceships, it kind of doesn't matter, but yeah, that's kind of what I would do to balance out science. But yeah, guys, that's why I don't like science victories. I think they're really, really good for new players. And as the more experience you get in this game, I think they're just not as good. I think it kind of ruins the game for me. But yeah, let me know what you think about science victories in the comments below. I mean, very clearly. I mean, I don't know if you guys get the title, but the title of this video, you already know my thoughts. But I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.